It was Christmas time on the island of Sodor, and this meant many things. One, lots and lots of work for the engines. They had to work very hard, pulling freight all across the island. Two, the engines were all very kind to each other, even going as far as to give them gifts. On one snowy Christmas Eve, Wilbert was thinking about what to give to all of his friends. Hmm, maybe I should get a shiny new lamp for James, or maybe some silver buffers. Just then, Arthur arrived. Hello, Wilbert. Lovely weather, isn't it? Indeed, but I think I need help. And what might that be for? I'm wanting to get as many engines as I can to be happy, so I'm wanting to get them some gifts. I just don't know what to give some of them. Well, if you wanted, and if you had the time, I would suggest that you and your crew set up some decorations in places where there are none, just to remind everyone of this lovely holiday. But that's nothing, though. Arthur didn't like that at all. Well, sometimes a small gift means a lot. It means a lot to get any gifts for some engines. I hope this sinks in and helps you figure out what to give everyone. And Arthur chuffed off in a hurry, leaving a very perplexed Wilbert behind. He's right, you know. I know, I just feel bad for saying that to a good suggestion. Then, Wilbert got an idea. Maybe I will do what Arthur suggested. That would be great as many people were too busy to hang up decorations. And Wilbert chuffed away to get some lights. His driver had ordered some lights to be loaded into vans, and when Wilbert got there, the vans were loaded. And then, he got a wonderful idea when he thought about trees. Maybe I could give the Diesel some attention too, he thought. Maybe that would give them more Christmas spirit. He chuckled, and then went off to find a big tree. He went to the display. Most were sold out, until Wilbert's driver found a nice well-sized tree. This is the one, he said to the fireman. Wilbert had picked up a flat from the yard so that he could put the tree on it. They soon loaded it and they were on their way. Meanwhile, the Diesels were not very happy. It's not fair. How come the steam engines get a nice Christmas but we don't? Oh, don't whine again this year. You know how it goes. The fat controller's favorite engines are the steam engines. So they get the best Christmas and that's just how it is. Wilbur, on the other hand, was having the time of his life hanging the decorations. And like I had said before, Wilbur wanted the Diesels to be happy as well, so he was heading there to take the lights and ornaments to them. He soon chuffed there, much to the Diesels' dissatisfaction. Oh look, there is one now, here to show off what he'd got from the steam engines. I'm just here dropping off these decorations. Wait, what? Dropping them off? Does that mean... Yes, I realize that you all need the same amount of Christmas spirit as us steam engines. And we certainly have that. I mean, look at all this stuff. And after a while, the decorations were hung up, and the tree sparkled glamorously. Thank you so much, Wilbert. This means a lot. Wilbert had never expected him to say that, especially considering the amount of times Diesel was mean to him. But why? After we were so cruel. Well, that's what Christmas spirit is summed up. Putting aside our differences for a while to make everyone have a great Christmas. Now it's time for me to go. Merry Christmas! And he chuffed off to Tidmouth. It was evening by the time he got there. What took you so long? Chuckled James. Spreading Christmas spirit to a certain group of engines that don't get much appreciation. You mean diesels, I'm guessing, right? Spot on, Marcus. Everyone was shocked at such kindness. It was something Arthur said, like, sometimes a small gift means a lot. Very true. He always has been a kind engine. Conveniently, Arthur arrived. Diesel just told me Merry Christmas, and Bert just said Happy Holidays. And that's all thanks to Wilbert's kindness. Wilbert, is this true? Yes, it is. I decided to take your advice and give them a small gift, which was decorations and a fantastic tree. I even decorated some of the island, as well as the fishing village. 
Oh, wow! Thank you, Wilbert, and a Merry Christmas to you all! We have reached the end of this shorter story, and all I have to say is, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you, and a very Happy New Year!